All right, everybody give Haley your attention. Nearly 40% of all of America's food goes to waste. That's equivalent to 108 billion pounds of food, equivalent to 130 meals of food, and equivalent to $408 billion, as stated by feedingamerica.org. So this extreme reality that we're living in with all this food that we're wasting has a simple, easy fix that we can provide by owning our own garden. So owning our own garden has multiple benefits. Environmental benefits, for example, it reduces food waste. It reduces gas emissions that we cause by transporting to the grocery store and back home, having those groceries. And it reduces plastic waste. According to PlasticSoupFoundation.org, 12.5 million tons of plastic is used for food production worldwide. That's a ton of plastic that is wasted on packaging our food so that we can bring it home and consume it. So not only environmental benefits, but it's therapeutic. As I've mentioned in previous speeches, plant therapy and horticulture therapy are real things with real benefits. So going outside, tilling, planting, seeding your garden, seeing the benefit of the work of your own hands, being able to provide for your families, creates a sense of pride in oneself and builds up esteem that so many of us are lacking. And it also can be a great source of vitamin D. So going outside and working in the sunshine is not something that all of us experience on a daily basis. A lot of America has their jobs indoors. So we're sitting in an office all day, we're not getting that natural sunlight and we're not receiving vitamin D, which is critical to building immune systems and um, developing stronger bones. About 42% of the U.S. population is vitamin D deficient as reported by cantonmercy.org. Now perhaps one of the most beneficial features of owning your own garden is it saves you a ton of money. And you're not just going to experience this fresh produce throughout the summer growing season. So there's canning methods, there's freezing methods, you can make preservatives, jams, jellies, and you can experience that fresh produce throughout the whole entire year. Now today, well, last week, I went to the store, I purchased tomato seeds, purchased squash, radishes, and zucchini. Now each of these seed packets cost me $1.44. Now let's take a closer look at the zucchini, zucchini, which is a personal favorite of mine. Okay, where's my marker at? Here we go. Zucchini, I spent $1.44 on this seed packet. And it's probably gonna give me about seven good producing plants in my garden. Now, according to gardenbagging.com, each plant is gonna give me around 25 to 40 zucchinis. All right, so we planted seven plants, right? Now let's, for the purpose of today, say each plant's gonna give me 30 zucchinis. So seven times 30 is gonna give us 210 zucchinis throughout the whole growing season. Now that's a ton of zucchinis. But you can freeze it, you can make zucchini bread, you can have zucchini noodles. There's tons of different ways that you can use this fresh produce. Okay, now I looked at Walmart and they priced their zucchinis at $2.96 per bundle of two zucchinis. Okay, so if we're doing two zucchinis per this dollar, that's going to total us and costing us $310.80. Okay, well we just spent $1.44 on that seed packet. You're going to go to Walmart and spend $310, roughly, on that same amount of zucchinis. That's a huge difference in money that you could be saving if you had just started your own garden. Okay, now you might be saying like, well that's just the seed packet, that doesn't cost for fertilizer. A good bag of fertilizer can cost anywhere from $5 to $40. So even if we spent $40 on good fertilizer, you're still going to be saving roughly $269. That's a ton, and we're just talking about zucchini here. We're not talking about all the other plants that you could be having in this garden. So you don't need a big area to have a garden. Like I have raised garden beds at home, but multiple people have it in their kitchens, have it in their back patio on planted pots, whatever works for you. According to todayshomeomer.com, a general guideline for summer vegetable garden is to plant about 100 square foot per person that is deriving food from that garden but that can be easily adjusted to suit your own needs. So, the next time you go shopping for fresh, fresh produce, I want you to think of all the money that you could be saving and all the benefits that you could be experiencing if only you had started your own garden.